Well, we've seen the first part of Jujutsu Kaisen episode 3, about 9 minutes of it, and in that episode we got introduced to a new character, Kugisaki Nobara. Now she's a female who is from the countryside, and her attitude kinda stinks, I'm not gonna lie, but what do you expect? I can't lie, the way she's even been written, to be honest, I do enjoy her character, it's just that she doesn't come off as a very boring female character protagonist that doesn't really have much to do, she can defend herself and she can fight. In this episode of episode 3, we get to the other half where she's finally engaged a demon who we believed was the actual cursed doll, but there was actually another demon behind that cursed doll who happened to also take a child for hostage due to the fact that its cursed energy had risen and it had then developed a form of intelligence. Now apparently when a demon who has a lot more cursed energy than a normal cursed energy which is compared to the demons at the countryside. Their intelligence skyrockets to the point where they force the Jujutsu Sorcerers to embark on a choice on what is morally right slash morally wrong to them. Now the girl was going to give herself up for the child because she felt as though it was the right thing to do but at the same time she didn't want to do it because she knew that the demon was going to most likely kill her and that child but she still decided to do what we would call the right thing and sacrifice herself for the child it was very dumb i even knew at this point this is just ridiculous but like i said last week i also knew that she's also got too much on her plate to take care of for herself which is why i expected itadori to come and save her in the last minutes and i was i was actually right i was not even surprised when i saw itadori punch through the wall to get to the other side where she and the demon was and save the child in time but one thing i was surprised was that she had another form of technique which is called a secret doll technique which she can use the enemy's limbs to then create a form of cursed doll replica of that person and injure any part of the body which she did with the demon at its heart she stabbed the cursed doll area of where the heart would be and the same thing inflicted on the actual demon which was very surprising. I loved it, it was very nice and it was a very impressive look on the insights of her character and her personality and although she is very much rude and very dislikable, you know that deep down she's a very sweet girl. This was also backed up at the fact that she met a girl from Tokyo who had moved to her countryside where she had lived when she was younger and being the only girl who actually was friends with this city girl she decided to hang out with her and get to know her in which she calls her by the name of Sayori-chan. Now there's nothing that was negative that has happened to Sayori-chan it's just that she basically moved from the countryside back to the city but it gives Nobara a form of incentive to want to come to Tokyo which is why she left the countryside because she felt as though there was nothing there for her anymore she had met the one person she felt like she could look up to as a big sister and and she's practically basically the only person in her countryside of her home living who could see demons and actually interact with them so why not come to the tokyo city where you've got an opportunity to meet your long lost friend and meet others who are also into the same field of work as you such as itadori and kugisaki I love how all three of them, in fact all four of them, have a form of relationship that can be funny when it needs to be and serious when it has to be because it goes to show that they take their work very seriously and it just makes a great friendship and a great relationship to us, the audience who are watching them and also want to get to know them for who they really are and what they stand for. Towards the end they tell us that Jujutsu sorcerers had come to the location of where this big giant baby looking liquid demon was in the air and they said once Jujutsu sorcerer had passed away now I'm not gonna claim that anyone had passed away I really do feel like it's more of like a cliffhanger and it's not representing our actual Jujutsu sorcerers that we know of today but only the ones that are in today but it could be a possibility that it's either one person from our team of today or a past Jujutsu Sorcerer team which also had come in contact with that baby. This episode was crazy and I don't feel like there is much to say except for I cannot wait to see what more Jujutsu Kaisen has in store for us 
there's 24 episodes so you know this is going to be a series that you're going to go get your popcorn and your drinks and just sit down and have a good time with i'm excited i hope you guys are excited it's been your boy Roos. if you're watching this and you enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like and subscribe especially if you're new and whether you're listening or watching this in the morning afternoon or evening i hope you guys enjoy your day man it's been your boy Roos or mr 36 and i'm out peace track of time buying things online and it's not like we need them we don't need them so can we just love